in Strassen's matrix multiplication, we will see the same complexity and uh, we will see the recurrence relation for this, all those things. Okay, let's take let let T of n that is equal to time complexity of multiply two matrices two matrices of size n size n cross n dimension using divide and conquer method TSE. Using DAC, divide and conquer method. Now, here we have two matrices. So we have seen very clearly we have two matrices having size of 4 cross 4. So that's why T of 4, nothing but what is this exactly? Two matrices of size 4 cross 4, 4 cross 4. That gives that gives that gives eight T and four by two plus four into four by two whole square. So this is the recurrence relation we will going to get it. So this is only for multiplying uh, only for multiplying recursion. Okay. So here you can able to see four is actually four cross four matrix. Okay. Four rows and four columns. That will be that matrix will be divided into two parts. Nothing but sub problems. Here eight is nothing but eight multiplications we will going to do in that matrix. Four is nothing but four additions we will going to do. Okay. So that is what exactly this represents. Same thing here also. Okay. So we are dividing that nothing but n is what is that four plus four matrix n divided by two. Here also n divided by two. So four into n divided by two whole square. Okay. Suppose example you take it. This is for four plus four matrix. Suppose if I go for thirty two example, thirty two. So then what we want to do? Eighty n by two nothing but thirty two divided by two plus 4 into that will be divided always the matrix will be divided into four parts i told you already that will be divided into four parts here one one two three that's what okay again so that is 32 divided by 2 whole square if it is 256 so uh by 12, whatever it may be. So that will be divided in this form. Okay, this is our recursion uh, equation. Now, see in general, in general, see for example, in general, in general, T of n that is equal to, see if it is n value is nothing but one suppose think like that only one matrices is there one matrices okay multiplication how much time constant time it will take again only one multiplication if n value is equal to one one matrices what happens the time complexity will be constant that's why of one okay if n value is equal to one suppose if n value is greater than one then what is the case this is the case Okay, then what is the case? This is the case. This is the recurrence relation. Okay, so that's why 80 by 4 by 2 for 4 plus 4 matrix I'm talking about here. Okay, plus 4 n by 2 whole square if n is greater than 1. Okay, so this is what exactly we're going to see. Let's solve this recurrence relation using substitution method.
Okay, let's say that one. Okay, so what we're going to do? T of n, take it T of n, that is equal to 80, okay, n by 2 plus 4 n by 2. That is what n value you decide what you want to take. Okay, so that is what n value it is left to you. 4 plus 4 or uh, uh, 32, uh, 256. So what you want? 512. So, but it should be powers of 2. Okay, now see it. That is equal to 80 n by 2. Plus, if you solve this one, you are going to get what is that? n square. Okay. Now, constant, leave the constant, don't worry. If I do this one for log n level, log n level, log n level, what happens? So, you can use here for this one, you can use this one. Either you can go for substitution method. Substitution method or you can use master theorem. Okay, so both are working out well. Now, when I do this one, what happens here? Okay, so finally, you're going to get the answer. So, do the login level, you will get the answer, no problem. Again, finally, already we did this one, don't worry. Okay. So time complexity is equal to okay. Finally, we're going to get theta of n cube. We're going to get it. This is what exactly. So this is what when you do the substitution method or a master theorem method, you apply master theorem method and directly you can get it this one. Again, one more important thing after understanding that someone says that when you do the multiplication, you will going to get the n square n cube. Okay, when you do the multiplication, you will going to get the time complexity n cube. But this guy, who is this guy? Is Strassen, okay. Strassen. So, who is this Strassen? Is nothing but is a Russian scientist, a Russian, a Russian mathematician. Okay, is a Russian mathematician. What it did is nothing but instead of using n cube, we can reduce. The time complexity of multiplication of two matrices is telling that. So here we are getting n cube, but what is saying that not only n cube, we can reduce the time complexity of two matrix multiplication. That is what exactly is telling. So, but what he is telling? He given the one equation. See this equation, everybody. Strassen's equation. What is telling that? So T of n is equal to seventy. Okay, 70 n by 2 plus 80 n by n square by 4. Okay, again, that is equal to 70 n by 2 plus. So, when you do all these calculations, all those things, what you will going to get it basically 4.5, 4.5 in square, you will going to get it. You calculate all those things, you will going to get it. No problem with that. Okay. Okay, fine. So, you will going to get this answer 4.5 and here 70. Okay n by 2 plus n square so do this one for log n times again do this one for log n times log n times you do so now you will going to get it what is that exactly you will going to get the value something like this log 7 base 2 okay log 7 log 7 base 2 so if you calculate this one log 7 base 2 what you will going to get it so basically, we are going to get the answer theta of 2, okay, sorry, theta of n power 2.81. So compared to, compared to n cube, basically in multiplication, we are getting theta of n cube, but here you can see theta of 2 power n compared to this one, we can able to reduce the time complexity in this particular one. That is what exactly is telling. 
So apart from that, he is not telling anything. So that is what starts him. That is the reason why what he is saying that very clearly. So using this Strassen's method, you can able to reduce the time complexity. That's it, nothing else. Apart from that, nothing is there. Okay, so just they have applied the recursive method here. Okay, they just they have applied the recursive method and showed here. So this is what actually Strassen's is saying. So this is also all about Strassen. Again, you can able to see number of parts you can able to divide. Suppose example in this problem only take that n value we are taking that is four plus four. So what we are doing again, we are doing that one n by two, n by two, n by two, eight times we are doing n by two. Yes or not? Eight times we are doing n by two. So that is what exactly you have to understand about this, particularly about this matrix, Strassen's matrix. So this is all about Strassen's. Thank you very much.